the recent animal conference hosted by the Kilpatrick Foundation included an interfaith discussion on the souls of animals. An interfaith discussion in which people from different faith traditions discussed their view on whether or not animals have souls. I believe that animals do have souls because especially with the therapy dogs that we work with, when we're working with the dogs, they really appreciate the, the love and affection that we give to them and they love and, and are affectionate back to us. And I don't think that with, you can be affectionate and give love without having a soul. And I cannot imagine an afterlife without all our small, all the small furry friends, cats, dogs, hamsters, anything like that. Recently, the Oklahoman visited a downtown dog park and asked several people there to weigh in on the thought-provoking question. The question that I had asked earlier was, uh, what about people makes one believe that they have a soul? And do dogs have that attribute? And so the thing, uh, you know, we say is that people uh, have choice. You know, that's kind of questionable with dogs. Do they have a choice, you know, uh, to make decisions? Uh, but do they know right and wrong? Yes, it's what we teach them, just as it is with people. If you have a dog, you know they feel guilty when they've done something bad. <laughs> Why would they not have a soul there? They're on this earth and we love them and take care of them and they in return take care of us. And when I think of people who are soulful, I think of those same characteristics. So my dog has to have a soul and I'm assuming he's going to heaven with all the other dogs.